Hello, my name's Ian Denton and I recently posted a video on how to create windows uh, in Revit um, for um, basically for beginners really. Um, a fairly easy way to create Revit window families um, which should then allow you to create pretty much all of the sort of standard windows that you come across. I'm now going to look at um, bay windows which is slightly different um, and I have actually created um, some some windows which um, are um, par parametric bay windows but they're quite difficult to produce so I'm, I'm concentrating on um, on windows which are easy for beginners to to, manif to, to make so I'm going to show you how to do it with um, a, just a fairly basic way of doing it and you can then progress to a more advanced version as you use Revit a bit more. So um, I'm going to draw the bay itself first. Um, let's do it at 60 degrees. Okay, and this is going to be rough and ready. So because I mean obviously I'm trying to I'm trying to show you how to do it. Um, so I'm going to put these as mitre joints. I'm going to cut the wall and I'm going to do this. So now when we want look at the let's just put that the right way around. So now when we look at the front elevation, we should see that the walls are in and they just want to go to the from the ground level to the ground floor and they want to be let's say they want to be 800 mil off the ground floor so there's the the wall beneath where we're going to put the bay now if I go back to the ground floor plan I don't want this here I don't want this join here, so I'm going to disallow the join. And I'm going to do the same with this here, disallow the join. Okay. And now I'm going to draw a roof by footprint. And, no I'm not. I'm not, I'm not going to do that yet. I'm going to actually draw another wall. And this is going to be a curtain wall. And I'm going to draw the curtain wall in here, and I'm going to draw it above the other wall, which I've got, at, which I put the top of at 800. So I'm going to put this curtain wall at a level of 850, and that allows for the window sill underneath it. So I'm going to draw this at 850. above these walls here and I'm going to disallow the joins where they meet the other walls disallow join okay now I like to have this bay window a hundred this glass a hundred mil from the edge of the wall and we can do that just simply by clicking on them and the dimension crops up and if we do that for all of them, then we know they're all parallel and they're all set at the same distance. We can then I'm going to pull this back, whoops, pull this back, and we can then pull the wall to join onto them. And just disallow the join again. And we can get this wall to come in at the same distance. So we're just looking to just looking to get them even. Okay, so there we have our bay window, and these I would expect to go from. We've got 850. Let's go from ground. Well, they go to the ground floor ceiling now, which is probably about right. So let's look at the front elevation again. So there we go. 
Now what I'm going to do here now, I'm going to go back to the ground floor plan. I'm going to get back to my roof and I have a roof set up as a windowsill. If I edit the type, we can have a look at it. It's just got a white finish and it's 50 mil thick. That's it. The only thing that's in there. So I'm going to go back to this and I'm going to uh, I'm going to draw my window sill in. And I'm drawing it from above. And it's going to overhang by 50 mil when it comes to the, the brick wall bit. And now all I've got to do is join these up. Uh, well, I've missed a line there. There we go. All right, what's going on here? Looks like I've put additional lines in. It shouldn't be difficult to do it, but I'm not, I'm not making it look easy, but it's not difficult. Okay, so we've created a windowsill from above. Um, we're not gonna have any roof slope on it. It's just white. got to be on here, isn't it? Oh. Ah, right. Continue. Let's see what we've done wrong. Right, okay. And that's going to be set, if you remember, we, we set the wall to top of the wall to 800. So if we set that to the top of the wall, front elevation looks like that. So if we go into 3D, there we go. We've got quite a decent looking frame. So um, front elevation. If we want to put some walls in, above. I'm just going to grab all of these walls. I'm going to go to copy. I'm going to paste. Align to selected levels. First floor finish. Okay. I'm just going to drag these down because the actual frame, top of the frame was on the uh, ground floor ceiling. I'm going to select all of these. I'm going to set them as uh, finish base exterior so the, the outside of the wall stops where it is and I'm going to change the wall um, to um, vertical tiles it's actually a different type of wall and then I'm going to grab these let's go back to the ground floor and going back to the front elevation I'm going to copy, paste, selected levels, first floor finish, OK. So let's just set this wall a little bit lower. First floor finish to, let's say, 800 again. Let's copy this, copy, paste, selected levels, First floor finish, we've got a sill, and these just want to go up to eaves, up to eaves, and there we go, we've got two bay windows which we can then curtain grid. So we can then, um, I'm a little bit wider on the sides, but this is just trying to show you how it works. So I'm going to put a million in. Uh, I'm going to put a quad corner million in. This is set to white. 
and then I'm going to put another mullion in. Rectangular mullion, um, all grid lines. And we're just going to put the frames in. Now if I want to put a window light in, you have to make a curtain wall window. So if I were to choose this panel, and I'm just hitting tab here, and I've selected the panel, this panel, I'm going to unlock it, so it's not, and I have a curtain wall window, which I've drawn in exactly the same way as I would a normal window. So if you have a look at my Windows Family Tutorial, but you draw it as a curtain wall window, so just the window, I'll do a tutorial on that actually. You can then put that window in. So if I go to the ground floor plan, you can see I've put a window light into the actual curtain wall panel. And you can do that for wherever you would have an inserted window light. Again, curtain wall window. And that way you can build up pretty realistic looking windows, bay windows, which will be fine to send out to people when you're working in the field. Um, just one extra thing that I tend to do if I'm using this method, um, just to make this look a little bit more realistic, annotates, region, masking region, um, thin grey lines, I would put a masking region over this just to make it look a little bit more realistic on the floor plans, just to tidy up the floor plans a little bit so that you've got that mullion in the side. I have tried to create mullions to do that and I've not had a great deal of success so that's the method that I use and then you can just copy and paste that into the proposed plans if you've got separate plans in. hope this has been useful to you. Um, and I'll see you again. I'll show you how to produce these in another video um, and I will see you again soon.